Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve these two problems. Uh, in the first problem, it is said that the 2 kg spool S fits loosely on the inclined rod for which the coefficient of static friction is 0.2. If the spool is located 0.25 meters from A, determine the minimum constant speed the spool can have so that it does not slip down the rod. So the friction force will be acting upwards, right? So we have this sleeve, this spool, right? And it is at a distance of 0.25 meters from this particular point A. And this uh, spool rotates about, uh, this axis is about the Z axis is in the horizontal circle right so we if i consider this spool as a free body diagram right so this is that spool s let's say so we need to define our coordinate system right so as we can see that uh, if we are considering this horizontal circle then the normal axis will be acting towards the center of the circle right so this will be our normal axis is like this right so here this is my normal axis which is acting towards the center of the circle and the tangential axis will be acting into the screen the direction of the tangential axis is into the screen and the binormal axis is perpendicular to this normal axis and in other words we can say that this binormal axis is, is perpendicular to the surface of the curve to the surface of the horizontal circle right so this is the normal axis this is the binormal axis and the tangential axis is into the screen right if the spool is not slipping down the rod then the friction force will be acting along the along this inclined rod right so i have to draw that friction force in this direction right and this is that rod right so this is this line represents that rod so as we can see that we are given the angle of this rod with the horizontal in the shape of this triangle so let's say that this angle is theta so if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta right so if if this friction force let's say that uh, this is this is fs static friction if this friction force is making angle theta with the horizontal then this angle is also theta so these two angles are alternate angles now uh, the weight will be acting vertically downward the weight of this spool will be acting vertically downward that is in the negative b direction this is the weight and this rod will apply the normal force on this spool and that normal force will be perpendicular to this rod right so this is that normal force and if i draw a negative by normal axis is if I extend this line so this line is making 90 degree with this horizontal line and this normal is making 90 degree with this rod so if the angle between these two lines is theta then the angle between these two is also theta right so this means that this angle is also theta so now we can resolve this f of s and this n into its components right so this f of s will have one component should be acting in this direction and this one will be the cos component so if this is theta then this is f s cos of theta and similarly uh, we will have one another component of this f s which will be acting vertically upward and this one will be the sine component if i place it here so this is f s sine of theta and similarly we can resolve this normal force into its components so it will have one component should be acting in this direction like this and it will have one component should be acting in this direction like this so let me put it here so this one is the cos component this is n cos of theta and this one is n sine of theta now as we are considering the uh, horizontal circle right that this pool is moving along the horizontal circle so the radius of this circle is if we look into the circle so the radius of this circle will be equal to if we consider this tri this triangle right so this let's say that this is the radius of curvature let's say this is rho right 
if this distance is 0 0.25 and if this is theta then this row is the cost component right if i drop a perpendicular here then this length and this length will be equal so this length is 0.25 and this is 0.25 cos of theta so this means that this row is the radius of curvature is 0.25 cos of theta right and from this triangle we can write that cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse so it is 4 divided by 5 and similarly sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse this is 3 divided by 5 so we can find that radius of curvature rho which is 0.25 cos of theta and as we know that cos of theta is 4 divided by 5 so this is 4 divided by 5 so we can find this rho 0.25 into 4 divided by 5 so the radius of curvature is 0 0.2 meters so this is rho equals to 0 0.2 meters similarly if i apply the if i apply the equation of motion if we apply the summation of forces along the binormal axis so this will be equal to 0 so as we can see that uh, this sine component is acting in the positive b direction so i have to write fs sine of theta plus this n cos of theta and minus the weight minus weight and this is equal to 0. So now f s will be equal to mu s times n right so mu s is 0 0.2 so we can write that this is 0 0.2 times n and sine of theta is 3 divided by 5 so I have to write that this is 3 divided by 5 and cos of theta is 4 divided by 5 and the mass of the spool is 2 kg so weight is 2 times 9.81 so this is 2 into 9.81 so this is the weight so now uh, we can take n common from both of these terms so this will be 0 0.2 times d divided by 5 plus 4 divided by 5 and we can bring this to the other side of the equation so it will become positive so this is 2 into 9.81 so we can find n if we divide both sides of the equation by this term right so we can do it directly using calculator so this will be 2 multiplied by 9.81 divided by 0 0.2 into 3 divided by 5 plus 4 divided by 5 so this n is equal to 21.33 newtons so n is equal to 21.33 newtons now if i apply the uh, since we are required to determine the minimum constant speed so if we apply the summation of forces along n equals to m a n so as we can see that this sine n sine of theta is acting in the positive n direction this is our positive n direction so we will write plus n sine of theta and sine of theta is 3 divided by 5 so i will write it is 3 divided by 5 and then this fs cos of theta which is acting in the negative n direction so i have to write minus and fs is 0 0.2 times n cos of theta is 4 divided by 5 and this will be equal to mass of the collar which is mass of the spool which is 2 and a n is v square divided by rho and we know that the radius of curvature is 0 0.2 so we need to divide it by 0 0.2 and we know n in this equation as well this is n so if i take n common from both of these terms so this will be 3 divided by 5 minus 0 0.2 into 4 divided by 5 2 v square divided by 0 0.2 so this is 3 divided by 5 minus 0 0.2 into 4 divided by 5 and this will be 0 0.44 times n so we know n which is uh, 21.33 so multiply by 
this is 9.385 9.385 9 and if we want to find v square so we have to multiply it by 0.2 and divide it by 2 so let me write it here like this this is 9.385 2 v square divided by 0 0.2 uh, from this equation we can write that v square is equal to 9.385 multiplied by 0 0.2 divided by 2 and if we want to find v then we have to take the square root so answer answer was 9.385 multiplied by 0 0.2 divided by 2 so the velocity is 0 0.969 so the velocity is 0 0.969 meter per second so if the spool is mo moving with a velocity of 0 0.969 meter per second so it will not slip down the rod so this is that minimum velocity so we can say that this is velocity minimum now in the second problem uh, everything remains the same but it says that determine the maximum constant speed the spool can have so that it does not slip up the rod so if so if it is not slipping up the rod so what will happen is that the friction force will be acting from upside right so it the friction force will uh, prevent it from going upwards right so we need to have that friction force in this direction so now this is our fs right and its components will also change its direction so these components will also the this fs will have two components and one component will be acting downwards and one component will be acting like this right so if fs changes its direction so its components will also change its direction so again if this is theta if this is theta then this is theta then this is fs cos of theta and this is fs sine of theta and uh, so what what will change in our equation so the, the equations will remain the same but the wherever there is fs its sign will become opposite right so if this is this is fs times uh, if we are adding the forces along b so now fs sine of theta so now this component is acting in the negative b direction so we have to reverse the direction so this is minus right and similarly uh, here the cos component is now acting in the positive end direction so we have to write it as positive so this negative sign and this positive sign and the remaining equations remain the same now if i take n common so this will be minus 0 0.2 times this and now the n will change so now we can find that n again for the second problem so this will be 2 multiplied by 9.81 divided by this thing so which is 0 0.0.2 uh, multiply by 3 divided by 5 plus 4 divided by 5 so now for the second problem n is 28.85 so for the first problem n was this and for the second problem n is 28.85 newtons now if this is this sign is positive then this is also positive so we can calculate it so this gives us 0 0.76 uh, this is 3 divided by 5 plus 0 0.2 into 4 divided by 5 so this gives us 0 0.76 times n so 0 0.76 multiply by the new n which is 28.85 so this is 21.926 21.926 equals to 2v square divided by 0 0.2 so from this equation we can write v square equals to 0 0.2 into 21.926 divided by 2 and then we need to take the square root So this is 0 0.2 times 21.926 divided by 2 under the square root so the velocity the maximum velocity uh, to prevent uh, this pool from going upwards is 1.48 1 
one meter per second approximately. So this is that maximum constant velocity that the spool need to move in this uh, horizontal curve. So this is the solution of these two uh, problems. I hope you people would have understood uh, these two problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you want me to solve such more problems.